so hey everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we will be solving the problem print first and fibonacci numbers so this problem is going to be very easy jo bhi dp padhta hai wo sabse pehla problem agar koi karta hai to wo fibonacci numbers wala hai theek hai and this will form the basis of your dp so last tak video zarur dekhna last mein main ek optimization bataunga so first of all let's read the problem statement out so we are given a number n print the first n fibonacci numbers the first two numbers of the series are 1 and 1 we need to basically print the first n fibonacci numbers so we will understand what is fibonacci numbers how to print it how dp is required here and what are the optimizations possible and let's say if i want to print seventh fibonacci number my output is going to be this okay the expected time complexity for this is going to be order of n and the expected space complexity for this is going to be order of n so i hope you have understood the problem statement let's discuss the problem in more detail so what are fibonacci numbers so fibonacci numbers are nothing but it is a series let's say we need to find f of n so f of n is nothing but f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 so what i mean by that let's say if, if i want to find the fifth fibonacci number how can i find that i know for sure like the first two numbers are 1 and 1 okay and it is written in the problem statement as well now if i do this okay and let's say if i want to find the second fibonacci number okay so this is the first fibonacci number this is second and this is third okay so how can i find the third fibonacci number this is nothing but the sum of previous two numbers right so this is going to be 2 similarly if i want to find the other number that will be the sum of 1 plus 2 which is 3 if i want to find the other number that is going to be sum of 2 plus 3 which is 5 okay now we need to print this so we need to store this in one of the vectors right so let's see how can we implement this so for that we will be needing a vector that can be of size n theek hai the first number is going to be nothing but 1 the second number is also going to be 1 now what we can do we can basically run a for loop for int i equal to 2 i less than n i plus plus theek hai and dp of i is equal to sum of previous two indexes okay whatever be the value present at previous two indexes we will be adding it up So dp of i minus one and dp of i minus two, right? And in the end, we can return dp of n minus one. Why? Because you know, n is mapped with n minus one. Okay. So if I need to get the fifth Fibonacci number, I can simply return dp of four, right? So my answer will be stored at dp of n minus one. Okay. Now. we can solve it in top down approach as well this was well bottom up approach we can solve that in the top down approach for that let's say if i want to find the nth fibonacci number i can give a call to f of n minus 1 right as well as i can give a call to n minus 2 let's say n is going to be 4 so f of 4 will give a call to f of 3 f of 3 will give a call to f of 2 right f of 3 will give a call to f of 2 and f of 1 similarly f of 2 will give a call to f of 1 and f of 0 and here f of 2 will give a call to f of 1 and f of 0 right now you know f of 1 and f of 0 are my base cases so it will return a 1 it will return a 1 so we will sum them up and f of 2 is going to return 2 similarly f of 1 is a base case so it will return a 1 and f of 3 will sum both of them will return 3 from here right now we go to 2 2 will call f of 1 it will return 1 f of 0 is going to return 1 and we will add both of them and we can return 2 from here and 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 okay so if you observe my fifth fibonacci number was 5 right so this was how we were getting it now if you observe this f of 2 and this f of 2 is repeating right so this is again the case of op overlapping sub problems so we can optimize that using a dp so every time you are calculating something just store that in a answer right 
so how can we write that function basically you know if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1 i need to return 1 right because i know for sure when n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1 we will be returning a 1 right if my dp of n is already calculated means we can initialize it with minus 1 we can simply return dp of n otherwise we can return dp of n equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 in this way we can add both of them and store that in our dp so in this way we can get our answer right now let's see the optimization how can we optimize this so basically you know we need the previous two elements right so in order to get our previous two elements what we can do i can start my iteration but first of all let's declare two variables treat it as dp of 0 treat it as dp of 1 okay and we can run a for loop for int i equal to 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus okay and we can have a variable c c will be nothing but sum of a plus b right b will be updated to c and before that a will be updated by b why because the next time b will be 2 and a will be 1 right so we need to update a by b first right and then we need to update b by c okay so finally in the end we can get our answer so this will be taking nothing but order of one space right and we have optimized our solution from order of n to order of one but in the solution we are allowed to take order of n space so we will be implementing the bottom up approach for the same so let's see the implementation so first of all we have taken a vector basically we named it as fib and it will be having a size of n fib of 0 and fib of 1 is going to be 1 and we can run a for loop right as i discussed fib of i is going to be sum of fib of i minus 1 plus fib of i minus 2 and at the end we can return our vector so i hope you have understood the problem right and if you have any doubts write it down in the comments do try the optimization yourself and do like this video if you have understood share among your friends and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thanks for watching guys